Rupa Pai and I am a children's writer and two of my best selling books are The Gita for Children and The Vedas and Upanishads for Children. And now I, I, over the years I have done many many workshops and sessions with children about these two books and about the texts that they are based on but I haven't done a course for parents and it has become more and more obvious to me that it is in fact the parents who should be equally involved if, if the child is to get something out of that especially parents of young children older children of course can read these books for themselves and get what they get but when I first wrote these books I intended them to be family reading you know I I visualized it as an experience that the family would have sitting around the dining table reading these books debating the wisdoms in them uh, finding relevance for those wisdoms in, in daily life in the 21st century and then arguing or discussing about how relevant they continue to be or whether some of them should not be taken so seriously whatever it is you know I just wanted to initiate discussions about dharma moral values responsibility which are sadly missing from family conversations these days uh, mostly because children feel very put upon when parents tell them that they should behave a certain way especially when the parents seem to not be behaving the same way as well and it becomes a problem for parents and children to connect on things like this and that's why it's better if you start bonding with your children giving them the respect to express their own opinions at a much younger age and the frameworks in these books the uh, the thing is even in our ancient scriptures there is a lot of gray area nothing is in black and white a lot of it is left to you as the individual to decide what is right in a particular situation there are no 10 commandments there are no rules inscribed in stone and that's what makes it as liberating as it's terrifying because really if you go by the our ancient scriptures you are on your own there is some guidance there is some help but essentially you're on your own and what it encourages what these ancient texts encourage the cornerstone of their philosophy is questioning seeking for yourself coming to answers by individual reflection and introspection not taking somebody's word for it not it's not based on faith it is based on questioning it's based on self discovery it is based on introspection and for that kind of thing it really helps for parents to understand it first to be able to communicate to, that to their children so that children from very young begin to understand not to take things based on faith from either their parents or their teachers or anything but to develop a curious questioning mind of their own and these are the kind of themes we will be exploring in this course so i hope to see you all there